So the next step we've got the cage. It's quite easy to do this. Take a flat head screwdriver and undo these two screws here on the springs. What I advise you to do is keep properly hold of them like so as you're undoing them because they, again they'll spring off. What you don't want to do is have something to spring off in your front room and then it goes to uh, places where everything goes that you can't find. So we'll take them off. That one off. So if you just hold the screw in the spring as you're undoing it, you won't lose anything. We'll keep them to the side. And we'll remove all of this and that's all the parts we have to remove from that reel again there's a bearing inside here and we're going to take this bearing out as well and give this bearing a good clean so inside here just like the spool there's a, there's a clip that holds the bearing in place now you could just blast it out with cleaner and stuff but i want this bearing clean this is another one that can uh, ruin your rail this can make it sound dreadful when it gets dirty so again you place your thumb right over the hole clip the back of the spring lift it lift it away and then you won't lose it we just push the bearing out from the back like that we'll just give this a degrease give that a clean we'll put the bearing into the degreaser like so, let that soak in, get all the grease out of that bearing, we'll just degrease this side, give all this a good clean, these three parts again, we'll just plop them in a little bit of degreaser, just get all the crud off the air, parts, so again I'm going to draw some oil inside the bearing, and do something like one, two, Three, four drops maybe in this one. Heat it up. And that heat will draw the uh, oil into the bearing. There we go. Just as it starts to fizz, that'll do it. Just slide that round a bit. And you'll see the bubbles there coming out the top. It's just starting to pull the oil in. I'm going to refit the bearing now. Place the bearing back in, again with these clips, flat side in first, thumb on the flat side at the back so it's in, it's very hard to show you because you don't want this springing off at all, these will spring across your room and you'll never find them, just push the, the clips in, either side make sure it is in, there you go, that's back in. Next thing we want to do is, I like to place a little bit of grease in that hole there like so along the back there and along that area where it's going to slide and round the two metal poles that's all you need to do And you take the metal parts, just give them a little smear of grease, it doesn't have to be thick this bit. So that places on the back like so. The pinion, you check for any signs of wear or damage, that this one's fine, it just really did need a clean, that was all. Some new grease around that. So you grease the pinion, place it on that, place it onto the arms, gently let it fall into place. That's done. You place your spring, your flat head screwdriver and your screw. Again, once you put them like that, they're under tension, so hold it all together like so, keeping pressure on it. Give that a tight knot. Same with the other one. Again, watch them because these are the sort of things that spring off and get lost so just keep hold of it you won't have any trouble tighten that one up the tension on these is is really just as soon as you feel it bite stop do not over tighten anything on a reel 
that's that side of the rail done last but not least the gears so disassemble from the top and place them in order so we've got the metal gear carbon washer metal washer carbon washer metal plate another carbon washer got the leg and the last carbon washer in there like so we just keep everything in order, we won't lose it. The back here, we've got the arm, we've got one and one plastic washer underneath there. So we're going to degrease this in the degreaser, give that a good clean. We're not going to degrease any of these, in fact they should have real grease on them and they're bone dry. So what we used to do was wet these with pen real grease. Like so, they need some form of grease on them. These are bone dry, these ones. This is probably the problem with the I was having as well. We get some pen reel grease, put them on the carbon washers. This is where you drag. Not a hell of a lot, just, just put grease on them so they're greased. They're done. No need to touch these really. You can wipe them down and clean them if you want, but. Same with the plastic one at the back, grease it, so it's got grease all over it. The dog leg, just give that a, give that a grease, that's done. Right, so there's the parts order in case you get confused, that's how it goes back together. So we'll take the arm, the bottom of that is a bearing on there, that's one I definitely want to have greased, so I'm going to put lots of grease onto that. That's why we greased that hole at the top of there, because that's where it sits. So to start this off, we are going to place that bearing on first, like so, so the clips in. Plastic washer on the back. The gear on like that. One carbon washer in. And we place the metal parts in. First metal washer sits over that. The next carbon washer, metal washer, carbon washer, metal washer, and a carbon washer on the top cap. It sits in there like that. So that's back together. So okay, we're gonna place it all back together now. You got two metal grooves on there, just inside there. They set in the two metal recesses in here. So the best thing to do is slide it on from the top. And just place it in. You'll feel it click in. Turn the handle. Make sure everything's turning inside there with your finger on the back. So that's fine. That's all we need to do with that. Okay, the assembly process now to get it back together. There's a plastic clip on here, cap on here that needs to go on. First, the pinion is going in the hole of that. It's a case of just lining the pinion up and feeling for when it goes back together. Keeping your, thing, your thumb and finger on that so it stays secure, so it's together. And it's back together dead easy. I've greased these screws up. I'm going to tighten these up so they just feel them bite and then I'm going to stop. I'm not going to put any tension on them at all. Otherwise you won't get them back out. And there we go. That's the last one. Because we're going to check everything's working before we proceed any further. So first of all, we check the returning inside there. We check that that retreats and tracks when it's supposed to. 
and that everything's turning. You check the dog legs working, bite the out your back, and to reverse bearings working. That's all fine. Next part of assembly is the black plastic thing. It's got two tiny little lugs on the back of it, which goes into the two tiny holes, like so. We take extra care putting this on, making sure that that centre part does not come out, so we put it on square, like so. Just so it gives a couple of clicks, that's all we need. If you have lost that, make sure it goes back on, that's just the washer. Wash it for the anti reverse bearing. So now we're going to refit the star drag compression uh, washers. They sort of bend upwards. So we're going to place one onto there, like so. Slide it down. The other compression washer, again, they sort of face upwards. And the top one, again, it's concave, and that one faces downwards. And there you can press your washers, they sort of compress together, form a sort of spring. You click a ratchet, goes on. And then you star drag on top of that. So if you hold that bit with your finger there, as you wind that on, you'll find that goes on a lot easier. If you do get the odd one, it won't go on properly. Just hold something inside it and press upwards like that. Not with a great deal of force. Don't want to break any thread in there, but it will go on quite easy. So your star drag's back on now. We'll put the handle back on now. This is why you've kept everything together. So you know where everything is when it's time to refit. So you've got a spring plate that sits on there. Should get a bit of sand off that actually. It sits on there like so. There's a square plate that sits on there. That square plate fits into that groove on the handle. You can have the handle set where, uh, wherever you want it. And I just have to clean that off actually. It's got a bit of sand on it. The only thing I never cleaned. <laughs> there we go. Fit that on there like so. Again with this. Definitely worth putting a little bit of grease on the thread of that. And we'll tighten that in by hand. Just when it starts to bite, we'll take the tool and we'll give it a tighten up. Again, you don't want to be over tightening these handles. There's absolutely no need. So where we want that is you want that groove to line up with that hole. It's certainly not tight at all. That just about a newton meter. Again, this tiny little screw here, this tiny tiny little thing, caking in grease. This is what gets the most salt erosion. So I'm going to get a lot of grease on that. You have to chop your handle off. If you get one of them stuck, you have to drill it out and then you end up buying a new handle. We're going to tighten that up again. And again, as soon as it bites, we're going to stop. We don't over tighten anything at all. There you go, that's well tight. So that's that part of the rail now done. Check the star drag works before we go any further. It's all fine. Check the clicker works. Check it sounds smooth, which it does. The last part, we've already assembled the spool and done the spool, so the spool obviously slides in. The clicker on the outside. Like so. We place the side plate on. The screws line up again. I'm going to take a little bit of a little bit of real grease on these tiny little screws here, just give them a bit of a grease. 
like so. Now this is important, this bit. When you're putting the pen reel back together, never ever over tighten this side please. You'll knock your spool out. So just give it a little tight. As soon as you feel it bite, stop. That's it. And the same again. If you over tighten these, it puts the plate out of alignment and I think it makes the mag rub on the spool. So they're just hand tight. And plus as well, you need to be able to get these back out. These get a lot of soap water corrosion if you leave them long enough. You don't open them up. They've got to be replaced. And to get three of them screws delivered with about a tanner. The last thing to do is two screws at the back. Again, I'll grease them. Give them a little bit of grease. These screws keeps them alive. Place those screws in. These are the ones I like to use the flat head on. I had trouble with these before on the older ones, the Mark ones, where they've broken the side plate because it's plastic. So again, as soon as you feel it bite, stop. That's it. No need to over tighten anything at all. It's already sounding better. So what we do now is with this spool here, the tension, bring the tension right the way in as far as you can. Knock it into free spool, give it a couple of turns, make sure everything's working. Then back it off until you start to feel a little bit of play in the rear like so. Check the mags are working. Less, I usually have them on four. And there you go. That's just about good for casting now. Nice and quiet, all serviced. So there you have it. So after your service, your reel's quite covered in grease, so I don't bother about cleaning it off. I'll just give it a good rub down. There's one more thing you need to do before you leave, which is actually quite important. So we'll just wipe all the grease off the reel. I'll add a waterproof layer onto your reel as well. But the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little screwdriver on here. We're gonna open this here. Place a little flat head screwdriver in there and the handle. Pull that cap off. Take a couple of drops of oil into the handle. Just two drops. Place the side plate back on. When you dig that in there, make sure you don't dig right in. It just will just pop out quite easily, but you're going to damage your handle. And just on the end of the handle there, we're just going to put one drop, two drops, and spin the handle around. And eventually that oil will work in, and we'll have a good reel. So there you go. Servicing the Pen Fathom 15 Mark II. That's ready to cast. I've got three more to do. See you again.